Welcome back to Sunday School again. We've been meeting quite a few people recently who met Jesus in our stories, haven't we? Sometimes the people didn't really know that they needed Jesus when they met him. And it reminds me a bit of these things here. I've got a few things on the table. I wonder if you know what they all are. This one here is a coconut. This one is an orange. This one is a bowl of salty peanuts. And this one here is my favourite thing, a chocolate Easter egg. Which one of these things do you think you would really want to have? Which one would you really like the most? Hmm? For me, it's definitely the chocolate. The only reason I haven't opened this Easter egg is because we actually had lots of other chocolates. And I'm saving this one for next week when I've got to do lots of spreadsheets. But I really like chocolate. So out of all these things, I would think the chocolate would be irresistible. But if we were on a desert island, say, and we had a choice between a coconut and a chocolate egg, do you know what would actually be the most sensible to have? If you know that the coconut is full of coconut milk, you could drink the milk in the coconut and instead of dying of thirst, you would be saved by the coconut. So in that case, the coconut would be more irresistible than the chocolate, wouldn't it? What about if you were lost at sea on a ship on a long voyage and all you had to eat were butteries and porridge? Hmm, you would start to get a bit ill because you wouldn't have any vitamin C. But what if somebody gave you a choice of an orange or a chocolate egg. You would choose the orange then because you would know it would make you well again. It would give you some vitamins and you would be feeling healthy. What about if we were on a jungle exploration and we had, we had plenty of water with us or we could boil up some water from the river but we would be so hot and sweaty we would lose a lot of salt in our sweat and that could make us very ill. But if someone gave us a choice of some peanuts or this lovely chocolate egg, we would choose the salty peanuts because we would know that they would help us. So in different places, these things, once you know what's in them, become irresistible. They become the thing you would definitely know you needed. Some of the people that we were speaking about that, we met, that met Jesus, they didn't know they needed him. We met a lame man and he thought he needed his legs healed. And Jesus did that for him. The lame man didn't realise he needed his sins forgiven too. Who else did we meet? We met the lepers. Now, they knew they needed Jesus' help. And Jesus did heal them. But one, only one of them came back and knew that he actually needed Jesus' forgiveness as well. We also met Mary and Martha and Lazarus. Now, Mary and Martha had a lot of faith and they knew that when their brother was very ill, they needed Jesus because Jesus was the only one who had the power to help. Last week we met Zacchaeus and we learned that Zacchaeus found money irresistible. He thought that was all he needed. He cheated people and he got extra money because that was so important to him. Then once he met Jesus, he realised that he needed Jesus and Jesus was irresistible. In today's story, we meet lots of people and they were so excited that Jesus was coming to the town. They actually had a parade. Have you ever been to a parade? Lots of people standing and waving flags. The people in Jerusalem did that when Jesus was coming. They had heard about some of his miracles. They'd heard about Lazarus and they were so excited. They thought that Jesus was going to come and do something amazing as well. And they were really excited that he could be their king. What they didn't know was what Jesus actually came for. And they didn't realise that they needed Jesus not to be their king on earth, but to be their saviour and to die for their sins and be their king in heaven. We're going to find out all about that story. There's a donkey involved. We actually did this story not long ago in the Easter holidays, didn't we? And there's a rock involved as well. I want you to find out what Jesus says about the rock in the story. 
It's something to do with the people and the people not really realising who he was and how important he was to them. Go listen to the story and see if you can find out about the rock. Thank you.